Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault, and today I'm coming to you with a very short but hopefully informative video answering a question that one of my new subscribers, and I believe a new gun owner, asked in my shotgun collection of 2020 video. He asked, how do you identify Benelli chokes without removing the choke from the gun? And he was specifically asking about the little tick marks or the little dots or lines that are in the end of the choke. And so I wanted to talk about that today. I know this is a video that probably isn't gonna interest many of my usual viewers who are not shotgun people or might honestly be very experienced and very knowledgeable. But I try to appeal to a broad spectrum of people, and sometimes I feel like I need to make these little informative videos to help people out. So, it is a very easy way to know. And I believe this system also applies to Beretta as well. All of the chokes that you will find on the Benelli's and the Beretta's will have a little dot system or a line system that you can see from the end of the barrel. Now, of course, whenever you look at the end of a barrel, make sure the firearm is unloaded. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So the chamber is empty, nothing is on the elevator, we are good to go. But if you look at the front of the choke here, and hopefully you can see this will be down in this area over here. Uh, this choke on this uh, M4 is going to have three little notches. I'm also going to roll in a couple of pictures of those notches, both on the gun and with these individual chokes. And depending on the number of notches will tell you what choke is in the firearm. Now, there are a system of five notches that you can get on these chokes, uh, but there are more than five types of chokes. Uh, and essentially the chokes narrow the bore and will uh, make the shot pattern smaller or tighter for shooting at different distances or the type of load that you may have in the shotgun. I also brought out two other ones. And all these are two chokes from Benelli that I have not used. As you can see, they still have the uh, original stickers. Because uh, typically in tactical home defense shotguns, I like to use the most open um, choke that I have to have the quickest scatter pattern because typically in tactical shotguns for home defense I want that pattern to open up as quickly as possible because I'm not trying to shoot at long distances but the two I have here this one even shows on the side it has a one star but it also has a little one mark here and this one has three stars and little three little uh, tick marks here I'm going to roll in some uh, pictures as I said of these uh, while I'm while I'm talking here, but I wanted to share with what uh, share with you what these mean. And essentially, if it has one notch, it means it is a full choke. Two notches is an improved modified. Three notches is modified. Four notches is improved cylinder, and five notches is cylinder bore. So there you go. Now, as I said, there's more than different or five uh, settings of a choke, but these are gonna be the five basic ones. So without having to remove the choke from a Beretta or Benelli shotgun, all you have to do is look at the end of the, of the choke when it's in the gun and count how many of those little tick marks there are, and that will let you know what choke is in the firearm. So there you go. Easy question to answer, and so I hope I answered it in this video and I've helped somebody out. If you're a new gun owner, maybe bought a Benelli this year and just wanted to have this information on hand, so there you go. So let me know if you have any questions, and you can always ask any questions that you like in my comment section or email me at texasgunvault at gmail.com, and I try to help out all of my fellow American Second Amendment patriots. So as always, Thanks for watching.